Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping in today to see what I am up to. Today I have this little box and this is my Stitch Fix small box, but you never know what's inside these great little boxes. A little bit about Stitch Fix before we get to the reveal of what I have in this box. I think this is Fix 32 if I'm not mistaken, but I can verify that once we get inside the box. Stitch, Fit, Stitch Fix is a monthly subscription box and it is fashion, accessories, um, earrings, I mean, jewelry, handbags, shoes, coats, um, you name it. I think they pretty much, you know, have it. Um, for it, this box is for women, men, and kids. I've uh, only seen a few videos on kids' boxes. Usually I can find men's boxes, ladies' boxes all over the place. Um, so if you're interested in either for your man or, you know, for a child that maybe you're having a hard time with, even like a teen, um, you know, check it out. Uh, there is a $20 per box styling fee, which you do get credited back to you for anything that you keep in the box. If you keep nothing in the box, then you do forfeit the styling fee. If you are offered the style pass, which I do have, it's $49. It is for one year. Um, then you don't pay the $20 per box styling fee any longer. So there's pros and cons with that. Um, but the $49 is also a credit back to anything that you keep in your box that you have the style pass for or, a current, you know, the next box and so forth. Uh, buy what you love, send back what you don't. You get a prepaid envelope, USPS, you send back, um, you know, what you're not keeping. You have three days to decide. You can always go onto the website and extend that uh, beyond those three days if this is something you need. I generally do that. By the time I get this, film it and have it uploaded, I want your feedback. So then I just extend the box for my return so that I can wait for your feedback. Uh, keep five, all five items in your box. You get 25% discount. You do check out online. Um, give as much feedback as you possibly can on the items you're sending back and on the items that you keep. This way they stop sending you what you don't like and with the items that you keep, if you give them lots of feedback, then they can maybe send you more of what you love and get great boxes. I have a good stylist, Rachel. Um, that is an, also another thing. If after a box or two, maybe three, you know, I extended a little longer than that. If you're not feeling your stylist, she's not getting you, he, she, uh, I'll just say stylist, um, ask to switch your stylist. It's on uh, the checkout process. Do you want your same stylist? Do you want a different stylist? Um, switch as many times as you feel is necessary until you get a stylist that feels you, that, you know, knows what you're going to like, can anticipate I've been getting some really great boxes. Things have just not fit properly. I'm like in between-ish, like sizes, and it's hot here. I mean, we're in the 90s, close to 100. It's humid, you know, 80% humidity already, and it's the end of May. And my little Oreo just jumped down. It's early in the morning here, so she's just getting up. She sleeps in. Um, so, you know, long sleeves. I, I need lightweight materials shorts, not necessarily jeans and things like that for the summer months. So when Rachel does get that, okay, go ahead, go lay down, go lay down. Thank you. So let's open the box. And this is what I see when I open right here. I give you a little tilt. You do, now they send this shop by category, which they do have on your site when you sign in. You have your return mailer. We'll just put them back there. And then this little envelope has your card that says, oh, hello. And I generally don't look at this till try on. Your style note and then your items that you have. And they give you little style tips. Let's close that so I don't see it. This is the dreaded invoice. How much other things going to cost? This is fix number 32. And this I don't look at until I'm trying the clothing on this way. The price does not alter my thought process on the items. This small bundle, shop by category. It's now on the sticker. This is what I see. And this is the other piece. We'll get rid of the box. 
and let's just get right into it and see what's in fix number 32 for me. Let's just get rid of this paper also so that all the noise is done. All right. First top. Oh, cute. Fortune and Ivy. This is a medium. It's really cute. Uh, Tabitha Crochet Detail Mixed Material Blouse. Navy medium. This is what I see. So this has some nice detail here that you can see through. Just, you know, it's not a, you know, a sleeveless. So it probably just comes down your arm a little bit. Scoop. And the front is a nicer material. Oh, there is a little tie. And then the back is just a straight back and it's more your t-shirt material. So here's where you have your stretch. And these, you know, can be good or can not work with you. It really just depends on the material. That's really cute. I like the tie and it's off to the side, not dead center. This next top, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. It's allergies. <clears throat> Horrible. We had so we've had so much pollen and so has everybody. We had a huge storm last night, so it's sort of quiet, squashed it a little bit and brought, you know, rinsed a lot of it away and brought it down. But this morning it's just hot and humid and the pollen is just the air quality is horrible out there today. So the next top is Pink Clover Rosalyn Stitch Detail Knit Top Off-White Medium Petite. This is cute. I could have swore I got this before. Maybe not. Something similar. So you have your stitching around your collar. All the way around. Around the sleeve. And this is off-white, like gray, a little bit of black. Uh, slightly rounded hemline. Pocket in the front, I can see. That's really cute. Lots of stretch. That would be adorable. Shorts, jeans. Oh, this looks cute. From Market and Spruce, the Harley Pima Cotton Scoop Neck Knit Tee Yellow Medium. Let me just get a little peek at this. Oh, this is not bad. Now, this is something I, I would wear. So there's your scoop and the design. I don't know if you guys can see. Just something simple, short sleeve. And then, you know, back, just your typical t-shirt. I don't know how much that is. That's nice and soft. Oh, I like that. 100% Pima cotton. That's very soft. Ooh, lots of tops this time. Good. Another top from Pink Clover. The Jolie Color Black Color Block. Short sleeve knit top, light gray, medium petite. Oh, this is kind of cute. So you have your striping on the top. You have your, oh, I cannot hold it, like camo-ish design and then solid bottom. Slightly rounded at the bottom, not like a straight. And then your edge of your sleeve is solid. Nice stretch. That's just, that's like a crew. Maybe a little bit of a scoop. That's really cute. I like that. And the camo is more like that, um, grays and like a little bit of the greens that's kind of cute and then we have a pair of shorts let's see here yeah i don't think i yeah i don't know we'll see these are from the silver jeans company this is the suki bermuda short indigo size 10 some jeans it just really depends um on whether I'm a 10, whether I'm an 8. So that's what these look like. Just, you know, your Bermuda. And they do have a slight cuff, so you could cuff them. I just don't know if I'm a fan of the back. The pocket area. So that's the pocket. The design. Mid-rise curvy. You know, that, we'll see. I, I really don't need another pair of jean shorts. I think I have like six six or eight pair of jean shorts plenty of like casual type shorts um and this the inseam is nine inches so if, if that's too long i mean it could be cuffed nine inches because it already has a little cuff on it so i guess i could roll it again if i need be so um and these are you know definitely a dark wash so i will set everything up for the try on and i'm excited for especially for the tops so i'll be right back I have two of the items on. It's always easier when there's a bottom. So this is the Silver Jeans Company Suki Bermuda Short. Um, 
indigo size 10, $64. And then the top that I have on, which I love, Fortune and Ivy, Tabitha, Crochet Detail, Mixed Media Blouse. What did I say that was? Fortune and Ivy. Fortune. And this is BCX, Navy Medium, $38. Shorts are a little pricey. The top is not bad whatsoever. Let's try to get that to stay. I love the top. Um, I have a white bra on. You cannot see it. I made sure I stood in front of my lights. You can't. I love the neckline. Perfect to put a cute little like necklace that might fall like right at your collarbone. Sleeve is perfect because I don't like sleeveless. You know, I don't like my upper arms. Um, but I'm comfortable if there's some sleeve, like a cap or a little bit of a sleeve. I thought this was off to the side a little bit, but it's dead center and it's fine. It's plenty. This material doesn't have any stretch in the beginning. In the beginning. In the front but I think it's fine. Here's the back. I don't think, I mean, I'll look again. It's not clingy and this is a medium. Plenty of room. Like sometimes the mixed materials are hit and miss. Sometimes they're clingy. Uh, I had that happen in the past. I don't know why I think I, but I love this. And with shorts, I think it looks cute with white denim. I have my white, I think democracy shorts. I only have one pair and I have white jeans. I think navy blue and white is classic. Put on, you know, a white tennis shoe. I actually have a white and navy tennis shoe uh, from Nautica that would look so cute for something like that. Now the shorts, I do like. These are super soft. I mean, soft length. I can always recuff if I don't like. They're comfortable. Here's the back. I mean, I have tags popping out everywhere. These um, are a 10. These are just too big. They're already too big and you know, you wear them, that means I'd have to wear a belt. They're just going to be, they're just going to bag out too fast and fall down. I mean, I literally can pull these straight down and I'll have to unzip the button fly. So that means they're too big. So I would need an eight in these. So like some tens are okay. It really depends on the cut, but I'm finding more towards the eight or better, which I'm not complaining about uh, at all. I, I'm not a numbers person if i'm a 10 i'm a 10. if i'm comfortable with that that's all that matters and that's how you should look at it also i mean i know it's it's hard sometimes um you know if you're 16 you're 16 be comfortable in your body or try your best to make changes i have tried my best to make changes it's not easy you know it's easy the pounds are easy to go on that's the fun part the not so fun part is taking the back off and i've found the older I got you know it's more difficult it's harder on your joints I mean I have a horrible back so the more weight I carry in the front the harder it is for my back you know it does affect your knees and and so forth so you know I try you know do I fail yeah I mean you know I could easily put on two three pounds if I just ate whatever I wanted uh, if I see my scale I weigh myself once a week if I see my scale go up a pound or two I don't get concerned if it goes beyond that because you know you could still women we carry water weight if I see it go beyond that then I'm like okay I need to cut some of the junk or watch the carbs and stuff like that eat more salads and vegetables which I've been trying to do yesterday my meal was all vegetable which is really not but there was tons of protein in there because there was lentils and beans and stuff I try at least my dinner to make sure it's more heavy on the protein since I don't eat meat but um, I think these shorts are nice. I don't know for $64. But if I love all the other tops, the buy all discount for me of 25% is almost 50 bucks. So then these shorts technically become $14, $15. If I look at the math that way, the stitch fit, fix math, I mean, this entire box is only $148. If I love everything, that's not bad. You know, it's about $30 of each. Um, so I really do like this top. I love the shorts. I would just have to see if I decide to keep them to get an eight and then I think they'd be fine. I mean, the legs are a little baggy, but not horribly. Um, I just am afraid after wearing them all day, they would just be too baggy. I have a pair of 10, um, Jag, I think shorts that I have to wear a belt with. And then by the end of the day, they're, I mean, literally, I can pull them down without unzipping them or un, you know, doing the button. I should have sent them back, but for $17, I wasn't going to. I'll just wear a belt. 
I have an eight in them because I did get an eight so that they fit properly. So I just usually wear them around the house. But I will leave the shorts on and we'll get into uh, trying on another top. The next top is from Pink Clover. This is the Rosslyn Stitch Detail Knit Top. Um, Off-white medium petite. This is $34. This one's a little bit more form-fitting, which... You, know, you can't have everything loose fit and baggy you, you know, sometimes you look sloppy that way i don't mind the form fit of this because it has lots of stretch it's comfortable it has a scoop up the side i like the detail the neck usually i'm not a big scoop i'm a big v-neck but these are like landing at like collarbone or below so it's not like up your throat where you're going to be hot and bothered i like the sleep the detail i think it's cute uh, not too long. It's hitting me just, you know, slightly below the top of my thigh. And here's the back. I don't, you know, it's not real clingy, but when things start to get a little bit more form-fitted, yes, it's going to hug your body a little bit. And like I said prior, you know, it is what it is. You know, I, I'm like everybody else. I have lumps and bumps. You know, I'm not a rail. Uh, and even the people that are, you know, 100 pounds complain about something. So as women or even sometimes, you know, men, you, you're never happy. Um, I'm happy with where I'm at, but could I lose 10 more pounds? Absolutely. And I'm trying. So let's move on to the next one. I like this. It fits perfect in the shoulders. Sleeve length is perfect and it's comfortable. There's nothing tight or so far it's not, it doesn't feel warm. The pocket placement is fine. And I would be very comfortable in this. I wouldn't be fidgety or uncomfortable. I'm curious about the yellow shirt. So I'm going to do that one next have the yellow shirt on this is market and spruce harley pima cotton scoop neck knit tee spruce yellow size medium 28 dollars it's not bad for a t-shirt um this one's form fitting just like the previous one i just i like the color i don't mind the design the neckline is fine sleeves are fine it's comfy i i just don't know about it and i don't know what it is Here's the back. I mean, it's not real huggy or clingy. Um, sometimes through here they are when they're just like a straight bottom t-shirt. So I'm not sure about this one. Um, it's comfy. It's soft. $28. Yeah, you know, Stitch Fix and t-shirts are expensive, the brands. But I love the coloring. And when you have a little bit of tan, I mean, I can tan pretty easily. Go outside a little bit. I, My mom's skin and the I tan right away. I might burn slightly, but that goes away and it's tan immediately. So I don't mind this at all. I, you tell me what you think and let's go for the last stop and I'll be right back. And my last top is from Pink Clover, the Jolie Color Block Short Sleeve Knit Top. Light gray, medium petite, $34. I'm liking some of the petite options because they are fitting me better, I think. Sleeve length is fine. Cute little detail with the cuff. You know, it looks like a cuff, but it's not. It's just like a ribbing, a, you know, a straight ribbing. This is a little high for me, but I'm not sure. Like, if this is more of a scoop or a V, I, I would love it more. I don't mind the, you know, the play on the patterns. This is so soft. This does come up a little bit off to the side. Um, I think the fit is fine. I don't think it's like grabbing anywhere. I think it's got plenty of room. I don't think it's overly grabbing through here, which is my trouble area. Length is fine. I could wear this with leggings. Um, you know, obviously there's shirts on. I could wear it with jeans. Um, tell me what you think of this one. I thought I would love this one. But I'm like, eh, like, it's cute. That's all I would, I think, I would think I would love it more if it was all this material, like all this design as an all over, but I have plenty of them. Um, I don't know, like this is more like, I don't know, did they tell me the color? Like, almost is more oatmeal. They're saying light gray. It's like an oatmeal-y gray, if you get my drift on that. I'm loving the shorts, though. I have to tell you, they've been on the whole try-on, which is maybe about 10 minutes or so by the time, you know, I pause and go, you know, try something on. These are so comfortable. Ugh. Like, even more comfortable than a lot of the shirts that I have. So, I don't know. I might see about getting these in, a, in an 8. 
but tell me what you think about this top. And I will be back in just a moment and give you my final thoughts, what I'm thinking about doing, and then I'll wait for your comments to see what you all think. I'll be back in just a moment. So, what did you guys think? I still have the shorts on. I'm, I'm trying to decide. These are so comfy. I don't mind the dark wash. Um, you know, I think I want to exchange the shorts for a size eight. I really do like them. I know they're a little pricey and I'm really, I'm going to, I'm like 80% positive I'm going to do that. I mean, I know I got such great deals on Nordstrom Rack paying like 20 or $30 for a pair of shorts. But when you find a pair of shorts and I still have the whole summer and early fall to wear them. And if they're this comfortable and I really do like them, I don't mind the pocket. I thought I wouldn't like the pocket detail, but half of it, you need half the time you don't see it. I don't see it, so it's in the back of me. So a little pricey, but I still like them. I need your help with these tops because I'm not sure. I mean, I didn't mind them. Like, I liked this. Did I absolutely love it no the neckline might bug me like these are like i love a v or some of the opening but i still liked it and i would wear it because i like the material um the grays like that oatmeal-y gray and i love the design and um the price point of you know they're, they're not bad you know 30 28 dollars 34 or $38 is the mixed media, but I don't think the pricing is bad. Tell me what you thought about this top. I really did like this t-shirt. $28, I think this was. This was really cute. I did like this top too. And would wear it. I mean, if I'm in the house and air conditioning, would I wear this material outside in the blistering heat and humidity? Probably not. It's probably very cool though because I wear these out. These can be a little warm, the knits, but um, I like that. This is, I, I think I'm going to keep. I think I could wear this nice if I needed to, wear it with shorts. Probably I would wear it with shorts, maybe mainly white, but it looked fine with denim if I want to do navy, like on navy, but um, I think I'm going to keep that for sure. And that, I'm not sure what the price was of that. I think that was $38, right? The mixed media, $38. So I think I'm going to keep that because I've been struggling. Like, the, I think I tried ordering from Shop Your Look like three or four of them and they were a mess. So this one is good. Um, the shorts I do like, I would just have to exchange them, which is not a big deal. And then the other three tops, I like them. I just don't love them. And I would, but the difference between the not loving them and, and liking them, I would wear them. They're things that I would pull for and wear. I don't know what to do. Tell me what you think about the three tops, these three tops right here. You know, that one, the yellow one, and then the, you know, the mixed patterns. They're the three that I'm questioning. The shorts... Tell me what you thought they looked like. I definitely, if I decide to keep them, we'll have to do the exchange for the smaller size. And this, I'm definitely keeping the blue top because I've been looking for, I have one other solid navy that I could wear casual or a little nicer, like with a nicer capri, things like that. I have white capri pants and I love navy and white together And this. And, you know, I could wear that multiple ways and could wear that. I could even get away with this in the winter time and have like a a design on a cardi or something like that and have a solid underneath like with jeans have this on and then just put a cardigan on then maybe pass some blues in it that would tie it all together and um i could still get away with wearing that these other tops i could get away with wearing in the winter maybe not the yellow because that's not necessarily but I, you know look it's a t-shirt i don't generally wear short sleeve t-shirts in the winter unless i'm going to put a cardigan on so tell me what you think. I'm confused on this one. This could be, excuse me, I might sneeze. <coughs> excuse me. Usually it's like five times. This could be a five out of five. So stylus picks subtotal is $198. Buy all discount of 25% off. $49.50 is taken off. 
for an order total of $148.50. I think that's a great price. Rachel always does a great job of keeping my boxes as low as possible, but still sending me nice, you know, like pink clover and market and spruce, nice names and nice tops and materials. Um, so this could be a five for five. I haven't had one of them in a long time. So I'll wait to hear from all of you. I will extend um, my return date because I'm not sure. I did get this the other yesterday. Um, I'm trying to think what today is. So you guys won't see this till next week. Today's Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday? I am horrible with what day of the week it is. I think it's Thursday. Um, so you won't see this till next week. So I will automatically extend it by a week and a half or something like that. I'll just go online today and extend it out and wait to see what you guys think and make some decisions from there. I hope everyone is having a great day and thank you so much for sticking till the end with me. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye now.